This is the Gayatri Mantra, which is what I sang every night as a child before sleeping. But I always felt pretty alone. I didn't know anyone else who sang it except my sister who was right next to me and my parents who sang it with me. So it feels like now the family is so big and that's so beautiful. We see ourselves as flame carriers of a 5,000 year old tradition that predates even Christianity by thousands of years. We meditate, we investigate, and the music is a reflection of that experience. Meditation comes first, and out of the space of meditation appears your creativity, whatever it is. In my case, it's music. So, music is secondary. Music is an excuse now to access this space of meditation and silence. changed even without practicing over these 22 years traveling with me 10. I read once and it makes total perfect sense that the voice is actually a mirror of our inner being. I knew that because you feel very exposed when you sing but it also works the other way around. When we work on our voice our inner being also changes and my voice definitely changed with me changing with me and unfolding, you know, with me flowering, you know.
I don't see myself as a musician. I'm much more comfortable with the role of being a facilitator or an excuse for people to come together. We don't have to concern ourselves with a lot of words or musical theory, you know, we just come together and sing. For the past 20 years we've traveled all over the world on the wings of these mantras and it's uh, the most amazing gift that we could imagine giving to each other. <laughs> 